I've been wanting to make a VS Code theme for a while now, and I thought now would be the perfect time and include it in my VS Code Superhero course. Now don't worry, the theme isn't exclusive to the course. It's actually available right now on the VS Code Marketplace. In this video, I want to walk you through the process of creating your own theme. So if you ever wanted to create your own, you'll know exactly how to do it. Really quick, before we get into it, this video is sponsored by me. I want to give you a quick sneak peek at my VS Code Superhero course trailer. The course will launch on September 22nd and will be available as an ebook, a video course, or a bundle of both. Sign up for my newsletter to get exclusive coupons and updates, and check out vscodehero.com for more details. There's a couple of options that we have to create a VS Code theme. First, we're going to look at the official VS Code documentation. We need to make sure that we have Node.js installed. After that, we need to install Yeoman and VS Code Extension Generator globally. I've already done this, so I'm going to skip this step. Next, we're going to run Yo Code. This is going to start the Visual Studio Code extensions generator, and then we're just going to answer a few questions. So what type of extension do we want to create? So we can create a TypeScript extension, JavaScript, color theme, language support, code snippets, key maps, extension pack, and language pack. So we're going to use our arrow keys, and we're going to select color theme, and then hit Enter. And then do you want to import or convert an existing color theme? So we're going to say no, start fresh. What's the name of your extension? I'm going to say demo theme. And then the identifier, we'll hit enter to select that. Description, we can add one if we want. Here's where we would type the name of the theme. And we need to enter something, so I'll just say demo theme. And then what is the base that we want to start with? Dark, light, or high contrast? So I'm going to select dark, and that's it. And we have our demo theme here. Let's go ahead and open this in a new project. I'm going to say code and then dot slash demo theme. So the main things that we'll be working on are the readme, the package JSON, and then our actual theme. If we hit F5, we can run the theme as it is right now. So this brings up our debugger. And in the other screen, it brought up the theme. So let me pull that over. And this is the default dark theme. So we can see at the top here, extension development host. Any changes that we make to our theme will be represented here. I'm going to move this back to the other monitor. And I'm going to stop it for now. Let's go into our files. So let's open up our theme, close the terminal. So this is our theme JSON file. And this is where we edit all of our colors. So we can change the name of the theme here. The type is dark. And then here are some colors. So we see editor background, editor foreground, and so on. We can also select portions of the editor to edit manually. So if we scroll down, we'll see a ton of options here. So we have tags. Here's the color for those. Functions, special methods, color for that. We can even get into specific languages. So here is the markup underline, and we'll use this color. And we see JSON specific colors, regular expressions. Basically, every single thing has its own attribute. How do we figure out exactly what it is we want to change? Let's run this again, F5. I'm going to pull that over. 
If we go to the command palette, you can press F1, and then we'll search for developer, inspect, editor, tokens, and scopes. Let's run that. Now we're given some information on where our cursor is, what exactly it is that we're selecting. So let's select this async here. So this is telling me that the language is JavaScript. It's giving us the foreground and the background color. And then TextMate scopes. So back in our JSON file, there were scopes. And these are the scopes that we can use to target specific elements. So if we wanted to change this purple color, for instance, we would need to look for this storage modifier async. Or it could be grouped into meta function. Or it could be grouped into source. The topmost scope is more specific. If we go to function, you can see that it's included in source, meta function as well, storage type function, but again, the async was storage modifier async. So if we want to modify the async directly, we would use this. All right, let me go back into here. So let's look for storage. So here's storage, here's storage modifier. So this is where the purple is coming from. So if we wanted to change the async specifically, let's take this, Alt-Shift-Down-Arrow, and we're going to rename this to async. And the scope is going to be this storage modifier JSON. So let's copy that. And then we'll paste that here. and we don't need the JS. Now let's change this color. Uh, let's go to a bright yellow color. All right, I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna go back to our development environment. And now we can immediately see the change happened. So it does take quite a bit of effort to go through and change all of these little details. Every single thing has a scope. We can also pull up developer tools just like we would in Chrome, Control Shift I. If we search in the command palette for it, Developer Tools. And it looks just like Chrome. So we can do the same thing here. We can select elements. Let's say we want to select the sidebar. And we can see all of the properties on the sidebar and exactly what it is we want to modify. Another option that we have is this VS Code theme generator from Daniel Imes. So if we go through here, we can see that it's very simple. We just provide some base colors and then it generates the rest of the colors from these. Pretty nice. This could save you a lot of time up front and then you could maybe just tweak a few colors here and there afterwards. So let's see how we can use this. So it says here to start with this quick start repository and I have that open here, the quick start. So let's clone this. I'll copy this URL. All right, let's clone that repository. Paste that there. I'll pick where I want to save it to. And there we go, let's open it. All right, so we need to initialize this. So let's open up the console. We're gonna do npm install. Get all of our node packages. There we go, close the terminal. And now all we need to do is edit this index.ts with our base colors. So let's just go ahead with these base colors for now. Let's open the terminal again and let's do a npm start. And now it's generated our theme. So we have this theme JSON here and we can now use this theme JSON. And there we go. So if we hit F5, we run our theme and that's what it looks like. So let's change a few colors around and see what we get. Let's stop that and we'll go back to our index TS. Let's change the background to a blue color and we'll keep the text at white. And let's make this, when it says blue, but it looks purple to me that blue and then red go for a little bit darker red and then the green and let's change the yellow up a little bit 
Actually, let's change yellow to purple. Now, there we go. So these are our base colors. And if we want to change the name of the theme, right now it's set to generated, so we can change the name there. Our base colors here, black, white, blue, red, green, and yellow, refer to these down here. So colors.yellow is actually purple. So if we wanted to be specific, we could change this to purple and then change this to purple. Uh, but as it is now, it will still work just fine. So let's save this and then let's run it again. So it's npm start. And there we go. So now we have our theme here and we can see the colors have now changed. And let's run this F5. And there we go. That's a very blue theme. So if you start out with some base colors that you like, then you could go in and tweak those a bit and make it your own. All right, so now it's time to package and publish your theme. So the first thing we need to do is set up our package.json file. So this is the package file for my theme. Uh, you'll want to set the name, set the display name, you can set a description, publisher, author name, version, the engine and VS Code version that it should work for. And then I have this on GitHub, so I have my repository in here. I have my repository for bugs as well. Then we have the gallery banner. So in the VS Code Marketplace, uh, you'll have your description at the top and that banner across the top. You can actually pick what color goes across that banner. Uh, then you can specify an icon. And then the category is going to be themes. You can also add some keywords so that when people are searching the marketplace for themes, uh, these keywords would help them to find your theme. I have a badge added to mine. And then contributes and then themes. Within that, I actually have two themes. So I have this default theme, which is what you see here. And that is over here under themes. And then I have a muted version. So the colors in this version are not as bright. They're more muted. Next, we want to look at the readme. And the readme is a markdown file. And you'll want to put in here uh, descriptors, maybe some images, some screenshots, what it looks like, stuff like that. And this is what's going to show up on the VS Code Marketplace. So if I close this, we can do a little preview here. And you can basically see I've just got a header here. And I've got some badges and some descriptions and the font, some descriptions of that, how to install it. And you can check this out on my GitHub repo as well. All right, once you've got those set up, now we're ready to package. So to package this, let's open up the terminal. So now we need to install VSCE, which is Visual Studio Code Extensions. So we'll do npm i, we're going to do this globally, VSCE. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to run it. Once you have that installed, now we can package it. So let's say VSCE and then package. Done. Now it's packaged. So if we go up here, we can see this new file here, VSIX. This is an extension file. So this is now packaged and you can actually send this file to others and they could use it. So at this point, it's not on the marketplace, but you can install it locally. To do that, we'll run code dash dash install extension and then the name of the file. So this one is code stacker dash theme dash 0 0.0.1 dot BSIX. So now when we run that, we'll now see the theme show up. So if I go here to color theme, and you'll see code stacker theme and code stacker theme muted. Now to publish this to the VS Code marketplace, uh, VS Code uses Azure. So we will need a personal access token to publish the theme. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the steps for this, but I'll put a link in the description to the VS Code documentation, which has all the step by step instructions. Basically, you'll need to create an Azure DevOps organization. And then you'll get a personal access token. Make sure you have all these settings set. And then you can create your publisher and then publish. All of this is free, by the way. So once it's published, it will show up on the VS Code Marketplace. And this is what mine looks like. Again, this is on GitHub. So if you come across any issues or you want to contribute to the theme, just clone it and make a pull request.
That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.